An elite cyclist can generate a certain amount of power, and for that rate of work, he or she would like to go as fast as possible. We can understand the aerodynamics with this equation. It tells us how the power to overcome aerodynamic drag, which is by far the most dominant, is related to the speed at which the cyclist is traveling. It relates to this, which is the drag force. Now this is a complex thing which relies on understanding the imbalance of stresses around the rider and the cycle. And we quantify that with CD, which we usually get from experiment, times the cross-sectional area times the dynamic pressure. Now in a scenario where there's no headwind, the power then is proportional to the velocity cubed. So going faster comes at a huge penalty. For example, if you double your speed, you need eight times more power. And of course, C, D and A are the things that remain for a given speed. And here we have three scenarios. An upright rider would have a C, D of about 1.1 and an area of this as a typical value. Now, if that rider tucks down into an aerodynamic position, CD will drop, but also the area will by about 30%. If that same rider drafts, then CD drops further to 0.5. So the consequence is these two riders riding at the same speed, this guy will be having to work three times harder than this fellow. So therefore we can see that aerodynamics is of crucial importance to elite cycling.